Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Checks the leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 
Nice punch lands over the top. Straight punch lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just out of the range with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well placed kick there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the oh. wood. Those leg kicks. He's got him hurt here. Oh, yeah. nice high kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Straight right hand, no good. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Head kick lands. Well, missed on that one. Pretty good right hand. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Great punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. My goodness. Oh! Big elbow. Big kick land. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the front of Scott. Beating his leg up. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, wow! Head kick! So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Flush right hand is true. Beautiful spinning attack there. Five minutes in the books. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, 
it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Another shot lands upstairs. Big leg kick lands. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Leg kick. Straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Huge block there. Big kick land. Lands with the right hand. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Beautiful strike. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ooh, what a punch. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. And he comes through with a big knee. We gotta fight, folks. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Ooh, blocks the shot. Goes to the body with the knee. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. 15 seconds. Ten seconds to go. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you gotta get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Nice kick there by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Continuing to work the body to great effect. And he caught the kick. Big kick lands. Big head kick lands. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice strike. Real sneaky body kick. Hands up, hands up. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Nice body kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Collar tie. Yeah, he fixed it all up. It's such a fast leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice right hand. Right hand upstairs. strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big kick. Right punches there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful leg kick throw. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Hard 
shots landing on both sides here. And they separate. It's nice straight punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. This dude's cashing chips. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good stick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Can't take many of those, you better check. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice move for punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice right hand. How about that shin? And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Back and forth we go. And just misses with that big right hand. Sidekick. Good punch. Well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Body kick now by Lou. that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Good punch, Lance. Head off the center line, slips the punch. How good is that right hand? Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, nice right hand, John. Timely defense there, huge block for him. One minute left, 
gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, big elbow. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Blocks the shot. Fifteen seconds to go. Big power shot there. Big head kick land. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent on the back. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Not there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, it looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Big body kick lands. Punch. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Look at the turnover in that kick. Nice leg kick lands. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Still nice body kick land. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, that right hand is on point. He takes more of these leg kicks. He would not be able to be very active on the feet. Big punch lands through the middle. Just what he needed there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under two minutes remain in the fight. We need that takedown. Right on the elbow. By the play. Lee gets caught with that punch. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get it to land exactly where you want it to. Nice kick. Let's go, 
He blocks the punch. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Slips to avoid the right. And they separate. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. What a punch! Powerful leg kick lands. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. We play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was